UEFA Champions League The UEFA Champions League is an annual club football competition organized by the Union of European Football Associations and contested by top division European clubs. It is one of the most prestigious tournaments in the world and the most prestigious club competition in European football, played by the National League champions of the strongest UEFA national associations. Introduced in 1955 as the European Champion Clubs Cup, or simply European Cup, the competition took on its current name in 1992, adding a group stage to the competition and allowing multiple entrants from certain countries. The pre-1992 competition was initially a straight knockout tournament open on Lido the champion club of each nation. During the 1990s, the format was expanded, incorporating a round-robin group stage to include clubs that finished runner-up off some nation's top-level league. While most of Europe's national leagues can still only enter their national league champion, Europe's strongest national leagues now provide up to five teams for the competition. Clubs that finish next in line in each nation's top-level league, having not qualified for the UEFA Champions League competition, are eligible for the second-tier UEFA Europa League competition. In its present format, the UEFA Champions League begins in late June with four knockout qualifying rounds and a playoff round. The six surviving teams enter the group stage, joining 26 teams qualified in advance. The 32 teams are drawn into eight groups of four teams and play each other in a double round robin system. The eight group winners and eight runners up proceed to the knockout phase that culminates with the final match in May. The winner of the UEFA Champions League qualifies for the UEFA Super Cup and the FIFA Club World Cup. Real Madrid is the most successful club in the competition's history, having won the tournament 13 times, including its first five seasons. Spanish clubs have accumulated the highest number of victories, followed by England and Italy. England has the largest number of winning teams, with five clubs having won the title. The competition has been won by 22 clubs, 12 of which have won it more than once. The reigning champions are Real Madrid who secured their 13th title in the competition after defeating Liverpool 3-1 in the 2018 final. Thus, they became the first team in the UEFA Champions League era to win the title for three years in a row. The first pan-European tournament was the Challenge Cup, a competition between clubs and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The Mitropa Cup, a competition modeled after the Challenge Cup, was created in 1927, an idea of Austrian Hugo Maisel, and played between Central European clubs. In 1930, the Coupe des Nations, the first attempt to create a cup for national champion clubs of Europe, was played and organized by Swiss club Servette. Held in Geneva, it brought together 10 champions from across the continent. The tournament was won by Ujpist of Hungary. Latin European nations came together to form the Latin Cup in 1949. After receiving reports from his journalists over the highly successful Campeonato Sudamericano de Campeones of 1948, Gabriel Hannett, Editor of L'Equipe, began proposing the creation of a continent wide tournament. After Stan Cullis declared Wolverhampton Wanderers champions of the world following a successful run of friendlies in the 1950s, in particular a 3 2 friendly victory against Budapest Hunft, Hannett finally managed to convince UEFA to put into practice such a tournament. It was conceived in Paris in 1955 as the European Champion Clubs Cup. The first edition of the European Cup took place during the 1955-56 season. Sixteen teams participated, Milan, AGF Aarhus, Anderlecht, Jurgarten, Guardia Warszawa, Hibernian, Partisan, PSV Eindhoven, Rapid Wien, Real Madrid, Rotweiss Essen, Saarbrücken, Servette, Sporting CP, Stade de Reims, and Voroslobago. The first European Cup match took place on September 4, 1955 and ended in a 3-3 draw between Sporting CP and Partizan. The first goal in European Cup history was scored by Joao Albachista Martins of Sporting CP. The inaugural final took place at the Parc des Princes between Stade de Reims and Real Madrid. The Spanish squad came back from behind to win 4-3 thanks to goals from Alfredo Di Stefano and Marquitos, as well as two goals from Hector Real. Real Madrid successfully defended the trophy next season in their home stadium the Santiago Bernabeu, against Fiorentina. After a scoreless first half, Real Madrid scored twice in six minutes to defeat the Italians. In 1958, Milan failed to capitalize after going ahead on the score line twice, only for Real Madrid to equalize. The final held in Hazel Stadium went to extra time where Francisco Hanto scored the game-winning goal to allow Real Madrid to retain the title for the third consecutive season. 
In a rematch of the first final, Real Madrid faced Stade Reims at the Necker Stadion for the 1958-59 season final, easily winning 2-0. West German side Eintracht Frankfurt became the first non-Latin team to reach the European Cup final. The 1959-60 season finale still holds the record for the most goals scored, with Real Madrid beating Eintracht Frankfurt 7-3 in Hampton Park, courtesy of four goals by Ferenc Puskas and a hat-trick by Alfredo Di Stefano. This was Real Madrid's fifth consecutive title, a record that still stands today. Real Madrid's reign ended in the 1960-61 season when bitter rivals Barcelona dethroned them in the first round. Barcelona themselves, however, would be defeated in the final by Portuguese side Benfica 3-2 at Wankdorf Stadium. Reinforced by Eusebio, Benfica defeated Real Madrid 5-3 at the Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam and kept the title for a second, consecutive season. Benfica wanted to repeat Real Madrid's successful run of the 1950s after reaching the showpiece event of the 1962-63 European Cup, but a brace from Brazilian-Italian Jose Altafini at the Wembley Stadium gave the spoils to Milan, making the trophy leave the Iberian Peninsula for the first time ever. Internazionale beat an aging Real Madrid 3-1 in the Ernst Happel Stadion to win the 1963-64 season and replicate their local rival's success. The title stayed in the city of Milan for the third year in a row after Inter beat Benfica 1-0 at their home ground, the San Siro. The UEFA Champions League anthem, officially titled simply as Champions League, was written by Tony Britton, and is an adaptation of George Friedrich Handel's Attic the Priest. UEFA commissioned Britton in 1992 to arrange an anthem, and the piece was performed by London's Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and sung by the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. UEFA's official website states, the anthem is now almost as iconic as the trophy. The course contains the three official languages used by UEFA, English, German, and French. The climactic moment is set to the exclamations Die Meister, Die Besten, Les Grands Equipes, The Champions. The anthem's chorus is played before each UEFA Champions League game as the two teams are aligned up, as well as at the beginning and end of television broadcasts of the matches. In addition to the anthem, there is also entrance music, which contains parts off anthem itself, which is played as team center the field. The complete anthem is about three minutes long, and has two short verses and the chorus. Special vocal versions have been performed live at the Champions League final with lyrics in other languages, changing over to the host nation's language for the chorus. These versions were performed by Andrea Bocelli, Juan Diego Flores, All Angels, Jonas Kaufman and David Garrett and Marisa. In the 2013 final at Wembley Stadium, the chorus was played twice. In Kiev 2018, the instrumental version of the chorus was played by two cellos. The anthem has been released commercially in original version on iTunes and Spotify with the title of Champions League theme. In 2018, composer Hans Zimmer remixed the anthem with rapper Vince Staples for EA Sports FIFA video game FIFA 19, with it also featuring in the game's revealed trailer. In 1991, UEFA asked its commercial partner, Television Event and Media Marketing, to help brand the Champions League. This resulted in the anthem, house colors of black and white or silver and a logo, and the star ball. The star ball was created by Design Bridge, a London-based firm selected by team after a competition. Team gives particular attention to detail in how the colors and star ball are depicted at matches. According to team, irrespective of whether you are a spectator in Moscow or Milan, you will always see the same stadium dressing materials, the same opening ceremony featuring the Star Ball Center Circle Ceremony, and hear the same UEFA Champions League anthem. Based on research it conducted, team concluded that by 1999, the Star Ball logo had achieved a recognition rate of 94% among fans. Since the 2009-10 season, the UEFA Champions League begins with a double round robin group stage of 32 teams which is preceded by two qualification streams for teams that do not receive direct entry to the tournament proper. The two streams are divided between teams qualified by virtue of being league champions, and those qualified by virtue of finishing second-fourth in their national championship. The number of teams that each association enters into the UEFA Champions League is based upon the UEFA coefficients of the member associations. These coefficients are generated by the results of clubs representing each association during the previous five Champions League and UEFA Europa League slash UEFA Cup seasons. The higher an association's coefficient, 
the more teams represent the association in the Champions League, and the fewer qualification rounds the association's teams must compete in. Four of the remaining six qualifying places are granted to the winners of a six-round qualifying tournament between the remaining 43 or 44 national champions, within which those champions from associations with higher coefficients receive buys to later rounds. The other two are granted to the winners of a three-round qualifying tournament between the 11 clubs from the associations ranked 5 through 15, which have qualified based upon finishing second, or third in their respective national league. In addition to sporting criteria, any club must be licensed by its national association to participate in the Champions League. To obtain a license, the club must meet certain stadium, infrastructure, and finance requirements. In 2005-06 season, Liverpool and R Media Bratislava became the first teams to reach the Champions League group stage after playing in all three qualifying grounds. In 2008-09 season, both Bate Borisov and Anorthosis Famagusta achieved the same feat. Real Madrid holds the record for the most consecutive appearances in the group stage, having qualified 22 times in a row. They are followed by Arsenal on 19 and Manchester United on 18. Between 2003 and 2008, no differentiation was made between champions and non-champions in qualification. The 16 top-ranked teams spread across the biggest domestic leagues qualified directly for the tournament group stage. Prior to this, three preliminary knockout qualifying rounds whittled down the remaining teams, with teams starting in different rounds. An exception to the usual European qualification system happened in 2005, after Liverpool won the Champions League the year before, but did not finish in a Champions League qualification place in the Premier League that season. UEFA gave special dispensation for Liverpool to enter the Champions League, giving England five qualifiers. UEFA subsequently ruled that the defending champions qualify for the competition the following year regardless of year domestic league placing. However, for those leagues with four entrants in the Champions League, this meant that, if the Champions League winner fell outside of its domestic league's top four, it would qualify at the expense of the fourth-place team in the league. Until 2015-16, no association could have more than four entrants in the Champions League. In May 2012, Tottenham Hotspur finished fourth in the 2011-12 Premier League, two places ahead of Chelsea, but failed to qualify for the 2012-13 Champions League, after Chelsea won the 2012 final. Tottenham were demoted to the 2012-13 UEFA Europa League. In May 2013, it was decided that, starting from the 2015-16 season, the winners of the previous season's UEFA Europa League would qualify for the UEFA Champions League, entering at least the playoff round, and entering the group stage if the berth reserved for the Champions League title holders was not used. The previous limit of a maximum of four teams per association was increased from to five, meaning that a fourth-place team from one of the top three ranked associations would only have to be moved to the Europa League if both the Champions League and Europa League winners came from that association and both finished outside the top four of their domestic league. The top four leagues in Europe are allowed to enter four teams into the Champions League. In 2007, Michel Platini, the UEFA president, had proposed taking on place from the three leagues with four entrants and allocating it to that nation's cup winners. This proposal was rejected in a vote at a UEFA Strategy Council meeting. In the same meeting, however, it was agreed that the third place team in the top three leagues would receive automatic qualification for the group stage, rather than entry into the third qualifying round while the fourth-place team would enter the playoff round for non-champions, guaranteeing an opponent from one of the top 15 leagues in Europe. This was part of Platini's plan to increase the number of teams qualifying directly in top the group stage, while simultaneously increasing the number of teams from lower-ranked nations in the group stage. In 2012, Arsene Wenger referred to qualifying for the Champions League by finishing in the top four places in the English Premier League as the fourth-place trophy. The phrase was coined after a pre-match conference when he was questioned about Arsenal's lack of a trophy after exiting the FA Cup. He said the first trophy is to finish in the top four. At Arsenal's 2012 AGM, Wenger was also quoted as saying, For me there are five trophies every season Premier League, Champions League, the third is to qualify for the Champions League. The tournament proper begins with a group stage of 32 teams, divided into eight groups. Seeding is used whilst making the draw for this stage, whilst teams from the same nation may not be drawn into groups together. Each team meets the others in its group home and away in a round-robin format. The winning team and the runners-up from each group then progress to the next round. 
the third place team enters the UEFA Europa League. For this stage, the winning team from one group plays against the runners up from another group, and teams from the same association may not be drawn against each other. From the quarter finals onwards, the draw is entirely random, without association protection. The tournament uses the away goals rule if the aggregate score of the two games is tied, then the team who scored more goals at their opponent's stadium advances. The group stage is played from September to December, whilst the knockout stage starts in February. The knockout ties are played in a two-legged format, with the exception of the final. This is typically held in the final two weeks of May. Starting with the 2015-16 edition, the holders of the UEFA Europa League enter the Champions League, initially at the playoff round. The maximum number of teams that an association can field in the tournament has also been increased from four to five. In August 2016, UEFA announced changes in the access list of the tournament, driven to avoid the creation of a European Super League. The top four clubs from the four top ranked national associations will receive guaranteed qualification automatically for the group stage. The Europa League holders also will automatically qualify for the group stage. However, the plan passed by UEFA caused outrage among smaller associations. After his election as the new UEFA president, Alexander Ceferin said that he would review the new system. In December 2016, UEFA confirmed the plan will go on. Changes will be made to the access list above, if the Champions League or Europa League title holders qualify for the tournament via their domestic leagues. The UEFA refereeing unit is broken down into five experience-based categories. A referee is initially placed into Category 4 with the exception of referees from France, Germany, England, Italy, or Spain. Referees from these five countries are typically comfortable with top professional matches and are therefore directly placed into Category 3. Each referee's performance is observed and evaluated after every match, his category may be revised twice per season, but a referee cannot be promoted directly from Category 3 to the elite category. In cooperation with the UEFA refereeing unit, the UEFA Referee Committee is responsible for appointing referees to matches. Referees are appointed based on previous matches, marks, performances, and fitness levels. To discourage bias, the Champions League takes nationality in tow account. No referee may be of the same origins as any club in his or her respecting groups. Referee appointments, suggested by the UEFA Refereeing Unit, are sent to the UEFA Referee Committee to be discussed or revised. After a consensus is made, the name of the appointed referee remains confidential up to two days before the match for the purpose of minimizing public influence. Since 1990, a UEFA international referee cannot exceed the age of 45 years. After turning 45, a referee must step down at the end of his season. The age limit was established to ensure an elite level of fitness. Today, UEFA Champions League referees are required to pass a fitness test even to be considered at the international level. Each year, the winning team is presented with a European Champion Clubs Cup, the current version of which has been awarded since 1967. Any team that wins the Champions League three years in a row or five times overall wins the right to retain a full sized replica of the trophy. Six clubs have earned this honour Real Madrid, Ajax, Bayern Munich, Milan, Liverpool, and Barcelona. Since then, instead, the club which wins three years in a row or five overall receives a commemorative badge to wear permanently on their uniform. The current trophy is tall and made of silver, wing. It was designed by Jörg Stadelmann, a jeweler from Bern, Switzerland, after the original was given to Real Madrid in 1966 in recognition of their six titles to date, and cost 10,000 Swiss francs. As of the 2012-13 season, 40 gold medals are presented to the Champions League winners, and 40 silver medals to the runners-up. As of 2018-19, the fixed amount of prize money paid to the clubs is as follows. This means that at best, a club can earn €82,450,000 of prize money under this structure, not counting shares of the qualifying rounds, playoff round or the market pool. A large part of the distributed revenue from the UEFA Champions League is linked to the market pool, the distribution of which is determined by the value of the television market in each nation. For the 2014-15 season, Juventus, who were the runners-up, earned nearly 89.1 million euros in total, of which 30.9 million euros was prize money, compared with the 61.0 million euros earned by Barcelona, who won the tournament and were awarded euro 36.4 million in prize money. Like the FIFA World Cup, 
The UEFA Champions League is sponsored by a group of multinational corporations, in contrast to the single main sponsor typically found in national top flight leagues. When the Champions League was created in 1992, it was decided that a maximum of eight companies should be allowed to sponsor the event, with each corporation being allocated four advertising boards around the perimeter of the pitch, as well as logo placement at pre- and post-match interviews and a certain number of tickets to each match. This, combined with a deal to ensure tournament sponsors were given priority on television advertisements during matches, ensured that each of the tournament's main sponsors was given maximum exposure. From the 2012-13 knockout phase, UEFA used LED advertising hoardings installed in knockout participant stadiums, including the final stage. From the 2015-16 season onwards, UEFA has used such hoardings from the playoff round until the final. The tournament's current main sponsors are Adidas is a secondary sponsor and supplies the official match ball, the Adidas finale, and referee uniform. Ublo is also a secondary sponsor as the official fourth official board of the competition. Individual clubs may wear jerseys with advertising. However, only one sponsorship is permitted per jersey in addition to that of the kit manufacturer. Exceptions are made for non profit organizations, which can feature on the front of the shirt, incorporated with the main sponsor or in place of it, or on the back, either below the squad number or on the collar area. If clubs play a match in a nation where the relevant sponsorship category is restricted, then they must remove that logo from their jerseys. For example, when Rangers played French side Saucer in Strasbourg in the 1996-97 Champions League and the UEFA Cup, respectively, Rangers players wore the logo of Centre Parks instead of McHugh and Slogger. The competition attracts an extensive television audience, not just in Europe, but throughout the world. The final of the tournament has been, in recent years, the most watched annual sporting event in the world. The final of the 2012 13 tournament had the competition's highest TV ratings to date, drawing approximately 360 million television viewers. The table below does not include appearances made in the qualification stage. Ref name equals UEFA Handbook 2018 19 slash ref. The table below does not include appearances made in the qualification stage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.